Why are these photos stuck on my phone and not coming to my Mac? This video is for you if the photos used to sync to your Mac and just stopped mysteriously. Maybe it says iCloud syncing is paused. Uh, this video is for you if you want your photos just showing up automatically on your computer that you, you take on your phone, you want them to appear on your computer. Uh, this video is also for you if you want to just hook up a wire to your phone and download the photos into your computer like the good old days before clouds and monthly subscriptions started ruining your life. And yes, you can just jump to whatever chapter would help you most in this video. If the photos normally show up automatically on your Mac and they just mysteriously stopped, the first thing I always suggest checking or, or doing is plug your phone into power and make sure that it's on Wi-Fi. Uh, photos will only sync through iCloud if the phone is like f full battery or else plugged into power. Um, it doesn't have to be plugged into your Mac, it's just plugged into any power. And as long as the phone is on Wi-Fi, and if you want the photos to show up quickly, let's say you took 100 photos and some videos as well, you want the photos to show up quickly to your Mac. Your phone needs to also have good fast Wi-Fi because this is it's a large amount of data that's going up into the cloud and then coming back down to the Mac. So that solves 90% of the problems of why the phone is not syncing photos to the Mac. If you want to check the specific reason why they're not syncing to your Mac, you can go in the older phone software, 17 and older, you go to the Photos app, and then you go down to Albums in the bottom right, and then you tap on Recents in the top left, and then go down to the very bottom where you see the number of photos, and right below that in tiny little text, it will tell you why syncing is paused. It might be that you need to pay for some iCloud storage. It might say that they'll start syncing when you are not on bat, you know. It's paused because you're on battery, is what it might say, but you can check it there. In the new phone software 18 and later, you just tap your little uh, face avatar in the top right of the phone of the photos and right kind of middle of the screen, tiny text, it's going to say the exact reason why syncing with iCloud is paused. Um, again, it's usually solved by plugging your phone into power and getting on Wi-Fi. They will, and, and patience, wait, waiting as well. And then they'll just start to show up on your Mac. So I just talked about this one. They normally show up automatically and they just stopped recently. Uh, if they haven't been showing up on your Mac automatically but you want them to, uh, the first thing I would check is just to make sure that your phone is actually syncing photos with iCloud photos. Usually it is in kind of a, a standard setup. Um, you just go into settings, you tap your name at the top, go into iCloud, and then tap on photos and then sync this iPhone, you want to turn that on or it should already be on. Uh, and then on the Mac now, you open up the photos app here and then you go up to the photos menu up in the top left and then go to settings. And then it usually it opens to here, you go into the iCloud section and you just want to turn this guy on here. So you're, you're turning on iCloud Photo, iCloud Photos syncing with the Mac. Uh, if you have a big photo history in the Mac Photos app, you might have to pay for more storage. So you want to heed those prompts from, from Apple or, or from your Mac. Um, also, you, you'll need to wait quite a while and keep your Mac and your iPhone on power and on Wi-Fi so that the Mac will actually get the photos all synced up into your iCloud. This is not something that's instantaneous or, or quick usually because it depends on your Wi-Fi speed, it depends how big your photo library is, this kind of thing. Um, and I, I highly recommend iCloud Photos. It's the best of the best. I would always set it to download originals to this Mac. This is just my this is my video sort of uh, video editing or, or tester account, so I, ha I have it here. But for it, all of our clients, for you, I recommend you set it to download originals to this Mac as long as you, your Mac has enough space to, to hold the originals. 
because um, then the iPhone is now syncing photos to iCloud, the, the originals are downloading to your computer, and then I would set up a, a, a time machine backup so you have a little hard drive backing up your computer as well. So now you, you're super safe and secure. The photos are in the cloud, the photos are on your Mac, and they're in a time machine backup. That's the best of the best. Now, if you just wanted to hook up a wire and download the photos like the good old days before clouds and subscriptions started ruining your life, uh, the first thing you want to do is make sure that iCloud Photos sync this iPhone is turned off. That should be off, uh, because otherwise iCloud might be removing photos from your phone and replacing them with the, the thumbnails. The way you check that is you go to Settings on your phone, and then you tap your name at the top, and then you go into iCloud, and then you go into Photos, and you want to make sure this is turned off here because the, the setting down below here, optimize iPhone storage, that's the thing that will remove the original photos from your phone and replace them with thumbnails. This is just a intelligent kind of space saving type thing on the phone. Um, as long as that's off, then you hook up the wire from your phone to the Mac and, and hook it up directly. Uh, to the Mac. You can use a regular uh, iPhone charge cable. It goes on one end is USB, the other end is Lightning. Um, it could be one of the newer cables like USB-C to Lightning, or maybe it's the newest one where it's USB-C on both ends. But the point is you want to hook up the wire from the phone straight to the Mac. Um, next, you want to open the Image Capture app, and this is something that has been, it's made by Apple and it comes with every Mac for years and years and years. Uh, you just go to the Finder, and then you go to Applications, and then Image Capture, and then you'll see your phone show up under Devices on the left here. Um, it'll ask you to unlock your phone, so you'll see a big message in the middle here that says, please unlock your phone, so you need to look over at your phone and type the, the code, the four or the six digit code on your phone to unlock it. Um, but now this is a window into every single photo and video that you have in the Photos app on your phone. So you can do you know, an individual download where you can click one and then choose where you want to import it to and then just hit the download button. You can hold down the command key and click multiple and then download those where you want. Or you can just go download all to that folder that you chose and they all, they all download. Um, when you go import to, you can choose where you want them to, to go. If you go down here to other, then you can choose a specific place. So it could be, a, could be any of your other folders, the downloads folder. In here, you can make a new folder and call it, you know, export whatever you want, create, and then choose that folder. And so now when you go download all, they're all gonna go into that export folder. And this completely bypasses the Photos app. They're going straight from the phone into, into this folder here on your, on your Mac. And so that's, that's the, the old school way of getting photos off your phone. Boom, Mac epiphany. I love the image capture app. I have loved it for 20 years now, 15 years. I'm not really sure. Uh, big disclaimer in this video. The steps that I talk about here solve these problems for 80% of the people who come to me asking for help. Uh, it's very possible to have a, a, a real sticky situation with your photos. You might have a small hard drive on your Mac, small storage on your phone. You might have multiple photos libraries or multiple Apple IDs. Maybe you've got folders that you organized and named on an old PC or an old Mac and you want to get them into your, your phone, you know, get them syncing through all your devices. Uh, this is stuff that we help people with all the time and, and often people need professional help getting unstuck with their photos. Uh, if that's you, if you need a hand, just book with me or someone from my team. We would love to help and get you to one beautiful photos library that's the same on all your devices. It's backing up automatically with Time Machine. You can share your photos, enjoy your photos, and you'll know that they're totally safe. So we're, we're here if you need a hand, if this video didn't help you enough. 
If you found this helpful and you want some private Mac coaching with me or someone from my team, just head to macandhome.com slash booking. We work with people all over the world. We'll help you with whatever is on your Mac problems list and you will never feel judged or shamed for whatever mess you are in. Why are these photos stuck on my phone and not coming to my Mac? It might be because it's a old iPhone 6 that I use only for audio recording in videos.